Hey guys, uh, I've been messing around doing some animation and doing some testing and what have you and uh, I thought uh, while I was at it I'll do a, a how-to, how to correct uh, 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 animations in general so that they comply with uh, the video game requirements as being true, quotation marks here, as being video game animations. Now true animations uh, that are designed for in place are designed in such a way that they would actually um, counteract the, full, the constant forward velocity of the player. So if you buy animations, you expect that uh, that uh, the uh, animations would be already edited based on speed uh, to maintain things like foot contact on the ground and uh, what have you. So to correct those problems, if you're authoring your own, then you have to uh, kind of keep that in mind that uh, if you're using in place, uh, which has some benefits as to uh, network playing over and above, say, root motion, which would generally solve all your problems. But you using in place, you got to kind of keep in mind that uh, depending on the type of reaction you want in your animations, you have to kind of at times counter the actual forward velocity of the animation of uh, the movement component to get the actual kind of animations that you want. So, uh, as for as an explanation, um, the most common problem is maintaining proper weighting to a simple jump cycle. So if, as you can see, see I have the uh, castle turned on here, and if I jump in place on this test on the third person map with uh, with the third person uh, uh, template, if we jump in place, you can see that the uh, that the jump is not bad, and you get away with it with most shooters. But the problem is, is of course, is it's glued to the castle as part of the movement component. So that means its upwards velocity is based on the current speed of the castle. In actuality, we're a little bit too high, I think, for where the castle location is. So, for example, on the ground, uh, the shoulders come up to the uh, first division line on, on the top of the castle. So, if we jump, we're actually above that line. So, our head actually protrudes above it. So, um, you know, this is probably to give it a kind of a nicer snap, but uh, the uh, actual jump lo uh, location of the character should be lo lower than, than what it is in, uh, in the viewport. That's a pretty high jump. So it needs to be corrected, uh, obviously. Otherwise, you, you kind of look like uh, a jumping gazelle. <laughs> uh, well, it's not a bad thing. But uh, the problem is is the animation is, gra is grounded to world space, meaning that uh, the velocity of the castle determines the uh, speed, uh, upwards jumping speed, and as well as the position of the player relative to the castle and not the ground, as in we want our animations grounded. Now, for the most case, for, as I mentioned, for the most most part, you know, nobody's really going to worry too much about this kind of jumping. But if you want to uh, fine tune your jumping, then you'd have to kind of take into consideration that constant velocity. Now, one way to do that is uh, to to do that is to um, since the animation is reactive to to whatever type of input you're putting into it and is uh, referenced to the capsule. Um, you can counteract the upwards movement in the case of our in-place jump here to um, allow for proper weighting of the character uh, based on, uh, well, I'll say poor keyframing as authored by, the, by uh, whatever program you want. So uh, in this case, here's an example. Uh, it needs still a lot of fine-tuning, but here's an example in uh, that I did up as to uh, in-place jumping. So if the, if the player's not moving around, uh, which would require different types of animation sets uh, to um, to accommodate or counter the velocity of the capsule, if we just, for, for example, um, just jump in place here, uh, I still got some feet work to do to keep the player's feet on the ground. But you can see that uh, that the player's playing catch up to wherever the uh, apex of the, uh, of the movement component is. So as I jump up, place catch up and I uh, steal some frames in between the uh, the, uh, uh, the capsule moving upwards and until it reaches its apex and then of course it just uh, hooks up from there and then comes down and lands on the ground properly uh, the tricky part of course is getting it to launch off the ground so as you can see I still got some footy issues it's just a matter of tweaking tweaking and more tweaking until I get it right but then uh, we land up with this really nice uh, weighted, body weighted uh, jump cycle mm, eventually. So of course that changes when we uh, when we uh, we have to change the cycle when we're say trying to jump up on something or we're jumping off of something, and uh, that would have to require uh, 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 
jump cycles to convert for that. So you could either stick with the uh, one-off type of jumping cycle, which is uh, can be used for any kind of movement, uh, whatever you wish, or if you wanted to make it look weighted, then uh, of course you have to uh, kind of compensate for that. Now how I compensate for it, of course, is you keyframe <laughs> to make it look good. You have to actually keyframe that. So here's my animation for a character, which ha first of all has to start below the world plane because of course the uh, capsule immediately takes off. So it needs to be referenced to the bottom of the capsule so that it maintains its feet on the ground until it moves up. So this is our starting point from where we're, where we're, where we're beginning our upwards jump. So if you hit the jump space bar, the player animation actually pulls down to counter act the upwards movement of the capsule. So as we, as we beat our apex, we play catch up to where it is and then land on the ground. So we get this kind of uh, animation. Boop, beep. So it looks kind of strange, but uh, as I mentioned, we're just counteracting the constant velocity of the capsule to counteract it and have that proper weighted uh, type of in-place jump cycle that we want. So I thought I'd do a quickie on this and uh, call it done, uh, just to kind of sell the idea that uh, you know even for run cycles, uh, you have to kind of counteract that forward velocity so that the feet aren't sliding all over the place. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and keeping in mind, of course, that the animation is only reactive to whatever it is that's taken place. And we can counteract those movements like for, for any kind of thing where we need, um, where we, need uh, a, a, we need our animation to be grounded as being referenced to ground as opposed to being referenced to the, uh, to the, the movement component itself. Okay, uh, enough of an explanation, I hope. Bye-bye.